In this Blogic review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this blog builder. If you have any questions, please comment them down below, and I'll also leave a discounted link so you can always get your money's worth for Blogic. Blogic is the no-code blog builder that Notion users have dreamed of for a long time. Once we log into Blogic, it will first take us to the Website Settings tab. Here is where we can choose our website database. So this database you choose on the right holds all the information related to your website pages. So we can choose from Team Tasks, Task List, Meeting Notes and Docs. As it says here, if you haven't duplicated the Notion template, please use the below link to duplicate it. And we've also got Manage Your Website in Notion. So if you click on that, it will take us over to our Notion page. And I'm going to go through a little bit more on this after. We can also choose our website font. So we have loads of different fonts to choose from. We then have website details, which will have our subdomain, our website title, and you can also add a website description. Below there, you can also upload your logo and a favicon for your site. You can just click on upload a file. This will bring it up in your computer, or you could just drag an image into there. So for the logo, it can be PNG, JPEG, or GIF and up to 4.5 megabytes. And that's the same for a favicon as well. Once you're happy there, it'll give you a logo preview and a favicon preview if you've uploaded one. You can go ahead and click on save. Below that, we have header and footer scripts where you can configure third-party scripts that interject to header or bottom of the body tag. Also, you can configure footer text that shows on your website. So you could add the scripts here, which will be the below text, which will be placed exactly above the header, the below text, which is above the body, and footer text, which you can enter HTML with links. Below there, we also have add website member, where you could enter their email and set their role, whether they're an administrator or an editor, then click on add. We also have subscriber settings, which lets you change settings for the subscribers module, enable, configure, or change the text. So you could go on enable newsletter subscription of your blog. You could then enter the subscriber block heading, the subscriber block button text, the block description, and the subscriber verification email. So right at the top, we have the subscriber section. Now I've enabled subscriber in the settings, but unfortunately at the moment we don't have any subscribers. However, if you did, they would display here. You can search for your specific subscribers, and it's also filtered by ID, email, name, verified, and the date they were created at. You can obviously select this button here, which would select all your subscribers, or you can select them individually. You can also go on settings or export. Settings will take you over to this section, what we've just been at, and export will export all your subscribers as a CSV. Below that, we have forms. So again, we don't have any forms. If we did, we could search for them at the top. It's also filtered by title, form ID, status, and date. And we can select them with that button. As it says here, use Notion forms to capture data directly into Notion databases or send an email. So for this one, we could go on create. We could select our form title, our Notion database. So we could go for team tasks the receive email and the status, whether it's enabled or disabled. Once that's added, we can see our form will show here and we have the option copy in the form and that will copy it to our clipboard. We could also do this, follow the same method and we could use say a task list, put our email into there and set the status. And again, that will show in this section here. We then also have billing and help. So right in the top hand side, you've got the option of previewing or we can go into settings and we can go over to Notion. So if you haven't already duplicated the Notion template, you can click on the below link. That's got the Blogic example site. So this will take us over to the Blogic example site. Below it, we have I publish posts on how to bootstrap your business, tech, marketing for developers, scaling and home automation. So we first got the home page. As we can see, we've got a link there tags the type, which is the blog home, publish date, created at, author, read time, related posts, 
summary published or not so you could untick that and meta description so just as an example if we click on open it'll open it at the side and then that's got some instructions right here so we've got when you choose type as blog home the content in this page is ignored and renders all the blog posts currently available to modify this page please go onto a row that says home with blog and then modify the content that page gives you more flexibility on what to show along with blog posts. For any questions, please reach out to the team. So if we wanted to go ahead and duplicate this, we just click on duplicate at the right hand top, the top of the right hand side. And this is going to duplicate the Blogic example site. And now this will take us over to Notion, where we can edit these as our own. As we can see, the author is now me. So if I wanted to edit the home page, we could edit the URL, put our own URL there. I could open blog home, go on open, and I can now stop typing in here, whatever I would please. I could set my own title. We've got this plus button here where I could add text, a page, so it could be a sub page, which is in, inside the page, a to-do list, a heading, heading two, heading three, table, bulleted list, numbered list, toggle list, quote, a divider to separate them, link to a page, call out, mention a person, mention a page, date or reminder, emoji, inline equation, table view, board view, gallery view, list view, calendar view, timeline view, and so much more. We've even got media so we can put an image in there, a web bookmark, a video, a file. We can embed Google Drive or Twitter or Google Maps. There's loads of different possibilities here and you can completely create your blog. You can also drag around the section. So if you wanted the header to be below text, you could move that there. And remember, anytime you want to add something, you just click on the plus and you could add that. So if I wanted to add an image, I'll click on image. We can upload it from our computer, embed a link or use Unsplash. And then we can add that image there and move it around to wherever we please. You also have options within the image so you can comment align it, caption it, download it, or we have a menu there where we can delete, duplicate, put it full screen, and more. If below that, I could click on the plus and say I wanted to add some text, I can just type to there. I could then add a quote into there, and then add a calendar view below there, and you could select your data source, so from the example site or team tasks, which were in the other page, or a document, or anything like that. So if we click on there, you can see we've got our backlog, our to-do, and our in progress. And you have the option of clicking on new and adding a task there. So the possibilities really are endless here. You can keep adding whatever you'd like until you get this right. Remember, this is just the example site. You can obviously change the names of any one of these chapters. You can move them around. Or again, we can click on that plus button. We can add a new one into there. You can set your link, add any tags, the type that it is, so we can choose from home, link, blog home, blog post, more, footer, header, etc. Then you can also set if it's published, you could give it a summary or any meta description. If you wanted to create a completely new template, you could click on new, you could click on the arrow, click on new template, set the name, you could add an icon and a cover, and you could make this from scratch. We can also share it, so we could share or publish it to the web, view all the comments, view past changes to the page, pin this page in the sidebar, or click on the menu button where we can set the style, small text, full width, customize the page, lock page, and many more, including importing and exporting. To customize the page, just as an example, if we click on there, then this bring up this menu where we've got all these different options for the properties, and the sections. And that's pretty much everything. So what are my thoughts on Blogic? Well, Blogic was a fantastic blog builder for Notion. The example template is really useful and it gives you something super straightforward to work from. There's a whole array of customization settings in Notion, as well as in the Blogic settings. I would definitely recommend Blogic. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.